Thank you, Chancellor Sobolik, for that report and your leadership as we look forward to the future as we transform UMSL and continue to be ever more recognized for our role in the region's workforce generator. We're also here today to recognize and celebrate members of our university community who contribute to our mission of transforming lives every day. It is now my great pleasure to begin the staff and faculty award recognition portion of the program. Universities are defined by their faculty and great universities are defined by having engaged teachers and scholars who bring new energy, ideas, perspectives, and partnerships to the students, to each other, and to the university. As such, I would like to begin our program by welcoming UMSL's newest faculty members. The names of each faculty member can be seen on the screen above. Would all new faculty please rise together and be recognized? Thank you, please be seated. Now staff at UMSL are integral to the continued success of our university, and we are so pleased that our UMSL family continues to grow and diversify. I would like to ask all new staff members who joined us in the last year to stand. Everyone, please join me in welcoming our new staff and making them feel at home. Thank you, you may be seated. We appreciate the talent you lend to the university and the impact you make every day. At this time, it is my pleasure to recognize the faculty members who were promoted and or earned tenure in the last year. We will recognize faculty by college. Names and promotions will appear on the screen above. I now ask that all newly promoted and tenured faculty to please rise now as a group and be recognized. Congratulations again to all the promoted and tenured faculty. Finally, before we move on to the awards, I would like to recognize a group of faculty members who have played an important part in UMSL's mission to transform lives, our part-time faculty. To those part-time faculty members here with us today, please stand as a group and be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. Thank you for your continued service. Now, I have the honor to present our most prestigious campus awards to the faculty and staff, the 2022 Chancellor Awards for Excellence. These acknowledgments go to some of our most dedicated and accomplished colleagues. It is important to note that while each winner has an extensive list of accolades and achievements to their name, listing all of them would be an all-day affair. As such, we've selected highlights from the nominating packets from the colleagues who work alongside them every day in their own words. We are sharing only a glimpse into what makes them such valuable members of the UMSL community. Our first award to present is the Chancellor's Inclusive Excellence Celebrating Diversity Award, which honors faculty and staff who embody the university's commitment to a welcoming, diverse, and inclusive work and learning environment. I'm pleased to congratulate this year's awardee, Jacqueline Smith of St. Louis Public Radio. Jacqueline was not able to be with us in person today, but her nominator had this to say about her. Jacqueline has shown herself in all things as an extremely dedicated and conscientious person. We are certainly in a time of transition and it's easy to shuffle ahead and hope others are putting in the labor to improve equity in our workplace. In complete contrast, Jacqueline stepped forward and offered both her time and considerable talents by taking on the role of St. Louis Public Radio's DEI committee facilitator. In a difficult time, she has taken on the task of engaging in research and purposeful thought on how we can heal from the hurts of the past and what changes are necessary to move to a more fuller and healthy future. 
that true work also energizes those around her to think more deeply and to work more holistically towards true diversity, equity, and inclusion. Congratulations, Jacqueline. The Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Collaborative Research and Creativity goes to four people for their collaborative efforts as one. The members of the Ariana String Quartet, John Magroso, first violin, Julia Sakharova, second violin, Joanna Mendoza, viola, and Kurt Baldwin, cello, are engaged in creative work so fundamentally collaborative that the con contribution of any one of the members cannot be individually distinguished. Over the past 10 years, the ASQ's creative output has been extensive. They have performed from a substantial repertoire in a wide range of locations, released recordings of the first two-thirds of a complete cycle of Beethoven's string quartets, and have finished recording the remaining quartets. They have taught and performed at multiple chamber music festivals and expanded their music festival here in St. Louis to include international students. The ASQ has integrated their creative endeavors with their teaching to an extent that is also exceptional. In their teaching at UMSL, students have both individual lessons and training in playing small ensembles. Their quartet is regularly invited to teach in masterclass settings at other institutions and is sought after in the, as a quartet in residence for the highly competitive Summer Chamber Music Festivals. Please join me in congratulating the members of the Ariana String Quartet. Our next award has two recipients this year. The Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Research and Creativity honors a full-time faculty member who has demonstrated superior achievement in a program of research and creativity. This year's first recipient is Dr. Kim Song. Dr. Song is an immigrant, bilingual, single mother, teacher, learner, Korean American, and researcher, which elicits her unique scholarly interest. Her research aims to help teachers unravel how particular content, discourse, and academic competencies resemble the modes of imagination and creativity in which racially, linguistically, and culturally diverse learners can develop multiple language identities. Kim's long-term career goal is to continue leading interdisciplinary research focused on teacher preparation, immigrant children, and their families. Her research thus far has contributed to changing school climate, educators' mindsets, and curriculum in critical ways, especially in the era of digitization, globalization, and transnationalization. Congratulations, Kim. Our second Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Research and Creativity awardee is Dr. George Zedition. Dr. Zedition currently serves as the John W. Berenger III Professor and Director of the Supply Chain and Resilience Research Institute at UMSL. He is one of the pioneers in advancing knowledge and practice in the domain of supply chain risk and is widely regarded as a highly prolific and influential researcher. As James Campbell, professor of supply chain and analytics summarized, in the field of supply chain management and risk, George's relevance and expertise are well demonstrated by his media appearances and his new book, Supply Chain Resilience, regarding conceptualizing supply chain risk management in a post-pandemic wor world. Congratulations, George. The Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Teaching to a tenured or tenure-track faculty member recognizes and honors someone who has shown great effectiveness in teaching, fostered student achievement, and made substantial contributions to student mentoring. This year's recipient is Dr. Amy Dunlap. 
In her efforts to be an effective teacher, Dr. Dunlap has implemented numerous best practices and novel activities or assessments in all of her courses. Although her teaching assignment does not include non-major courses or introductory biology courses, she mentors students of all ages, including some high school students that are involved in the UMSL Bridge program. One of the traits that makes Amy such an effective teacher is her commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusivity. Amy realizes that most students do not have the same opportunities to succeed, and she's helped numerous students become stronger and more confident in their abilities, regardless of their rank in classes. Her biggest efforts these days is mentoring students with a special emphasis on students or future scientists with disabilities. Congratulations, Amy. Our next award is to present the Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Teaching to a non-tenure track faculty member. This award recognizes and honors outstanding achievements in teaching to non-tenure track faculty members who promote academic excellence and show a commitment to improving teaching and learning. I'm pleased to welcome this year's recipient, Jennifer Nolan. Jennifer is a much admired educator, beloved instructor, and inspiring teacher for thousands of our students, both in person and online. She has devoted an incredible amount of time ensuring student success through tutoring, advising, instructing, and guiding students. Through her teaching, community outreach, research, and through her advocacy for and promotion of equity, diversity, and inclusion, she exemplifies to the highest possible degree the priorities and goals of the major compacts of the UMSL strategic plan. Congratulations, Jennifer. <laughs> the Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Service honors outstanding academic, humanitarian, or professional services from a faculty members who have made exceptional contributions to the university goals while embodying university values. This year's recipient is Dr. April Register. Nowhere is Dr. Register's commitment to service more apparent than in her work with the UMSL Succeed program, a nationally recognized post-secondary model. In concert with other faculty members in St. Louis ARC, Dr. Register envisioned, developed, and molded the Succeed program. In 2012, since 2012, the Succeed work has led to over $3 million in external funding. More recently, April has been awarded a U.S. Department of Education grant to create an individualized four-year academic program option, enhance and support partnerships in the existing program, and build a statewide awareness campaign highlighting post-secondary options for students with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Congratulations, April. The Chancellor's Award for Excellence to a part-time faculty member recognizes a part-time faculty member who shows commitment to student learning, demonstrates continued excellence in the classroom instruction, and contributes to the UMSL learning environment. Our 2022 recipient is Stephen Rigoritz. Stephen, who was not able to join us today, is an alumnus of the Department of Computer Science. And after receiving valuable experience in the industry, discovered his love of teaching. During his time at UMSL, Stephen has revamped courses in the constantly changing field of computer science, bringing in his previous work experience to better prepare students. Beyond his coursework, Stephen has also been the GitHub administrator for the computer science department, going above and beyond his duties to administer software that is used by students across all classes in the department. Congratulations, Stephen. The Chancellor's Award for Sustained Excellence in Online Teaching honors a faculty member who demonstrates creative learning opportunities, exemplary online course design, and effective online teaching strategies. I'm happy to recognize this year's recipient, Ms. Amy Michael. Amy couldn't join us in person today, but her colleagues tell us that she embodies all the essential characteristics of an excellent online instructor. 
and is particularly skilled at creating online courses that are highly structured, clearly organized, and fully accessible. Recently, she redesigned an older course, working to enhance content and systematically mod modulate to create clear checkpoints for each step. The course quickly became popular, not only for UMSL students, but was attractive to other campuses too, and is now part of a course shared by Missouri S&T. In the department, Amy is often a go-to person when it comes to course design because of her focus on innovation and fearless approach to trying out new technologies. She carefully evaluates and selects the best tools to deliver the content in a way that is clear and engaging to the students. Congratulations, Amy. Our next award of the day is the Gerald and Deanne Gittner Excellence in Teaching Award. Each year, we present this award to a faculty member in the early years of their career, someone who shows great promise in their scholarship and exemplary devotion to students they teach. This year's award goes to Dr. Stephen Bagwell. Stephen could not join us in person today, but he serves as an assistant professor in the Department of Political Science, and in his short time at UMSL, has shown remarkable dedication and success in engaging students. One of Stephen's most critical roles is that a mentor for graduate students in political science. He helps extend learning beyond the classroom and connects students to internships and career opportunities in the fields of political science and international relations. Stephen has also worked to get students more involved in research projects, contributing a lot of time and effort to provide quality learning experiences for UMSL students. Congratulations, Stephen. We have three Chancellor's Awards for Staff Excellence to present. This award is designed to recognize outstanding UMSL staff members who are dedicated to transforming lives and who embody UMSL's core values of integrity, inclusion, innovation, access, success, and engagement. Our first recipient of the Chancellor's Award for Staff Excellence is Matt McCluskey. Matt works as a third-party specialist with Student Financial Services and plays a huge role in assisting the UMSL Veterans Center and their students. As his nominator put it, the truth is that the office would not function without the support of Student Financial Services, which come primarily through Matt. Certifying VA DOD education benefits is very technical and riddled with obstacles. To ensure certification happen and everyone gets paid, we are constantly having to think on our feet. Being creative and innovative are job requirements. Matt is always working to create new processes and procedures that streamline these efforts. He is truly innovative in his approach for the greater good of UMSL and its students. Congratulations, Matt. Our next awardee for the Chancellor's Award for Staff Excellence is Ms. Chuli Moore. As an academic advisor in the School of Social Work, Chuli is an excellent advocate for students, and she works diligently to ensure that each of our students has the resources they need to succeed on campus. During the pandemic, Chuli helped students meet the challenges they faced by working with them to ensure they had the schedules that worked with their, each of their unique situations. And she helped them find resources they needed when they struggled academically and personally. If their needs were academic, Chuli made sure to connect them with the resources on campus. And she helped them problem solve personal issues such as work-life balance and mental health needs. Congratulations, Chuli. The final recipient for the Chancellor's Award of Staff Excellence is Betsy Sampson. As Senior Program Project Coordinator in Academic Affairs, Betsy's work is integral to the campus and she is successful in her role due to her ability to collaborate and remain respectful during interactions while serving others. Betsy works directly with various units on campus 
and her ability to work with others to achieve a suitable solution for all is commendable. There are times when a topic at hand can be hard to navigate, but Betsy's able to maintain transparency and keep things professional and moving forward. Betsy has always kept the best interest of the students and the university in mind when navigating decisions. She truly cares about the future of UMSL and is always willing to help as needed. Congratulations, Betsy. Right. Please join me once more for recognizing all of our Chancellor Award winners. Okay, we now wanna recognize and appreciate the faculty and staff who've spent very significant portions of their time helping us build a better university. For each milestone, we will first recognize the faculty and then the staff. To our honorees, please cross the stage when your name is called and receive your gift. Now, if I mispronounce your name as you're exiting this side, you can tap me on the shoulder, so I'll make a note and make sure I come back and apologize later. To make this run smoothly, I ask that everyone please hold your applause until all the names in each group have been read. Okay, we're gonna start with five-year faculty. Badri Adhikari, Sharon Arndt, Jill Alexander, Ann Austin, Jill Bernard Bracey, Julie Bertram, Emily Brown, Rachel Kraft, Matisse Enns, Michael Gerhardt, Tanya Haynes, Maureen F. Kerrig, Dana Klar, Thomas Kozlowski, Jennifer McCannery, Catherine O'Daniels, John Palmer, Mohit Patel, Scott Peterson, Britannia Phillips, Judith Reeves, Roxanne Reed, Julie Smith Sodi, John Trevithan, and Kim Werner. Staff members celebrating five years of service include Jenna Alexander, Dennis Bentley, Cedric Brooks, Princess Brown, Kelly Burnett, Sarah Butler, Stephen Chen, Q Cho, Dunapur Korkuru, Charles Davis III, Mindy Dilly, Colette Dixon, Devin Dixon, Alexander Duhalo, Ellen Duncan, <laughs> Sharon Fanolio, uh, Michael Hernandez, Gary Hobbs, Carla Jordan, Jeremy Kanaki, Samantha Kolar, Janae Lantham, Daniel Lau, Melissa Ann Lewis Thompson, Daryl McQu McQuinn, Victoria Myers, Ahmad Mian, Megan Miller, Jessica Mode, Valnita O'Neill, Stacy Pearson, Sarah Phillips, Caitlin Sanders, Aaron Schaefer, Joseph Schneider, Lauren Scott, 
Kristen Sobolik. Excuse me for a minute. Aaron Sullivan. Jurian Silaredad Woods. Marty Wotus. Edward Zimmerman. Thank you all. Next, we'll recognize faculty celebrating 10 years at the university. David Covert. Sue Dean Barr. Jill Delston, Christine Dira, Adari, pardon me, Ami Dunlap, Amy Dunlap, Bruce Hamper, Sean Manies, Courtney McDermott, Amy Michael, Paula Marie Pruitt, Mary Beth Rumberg, Julia. Sakharova, Rova, Christopher Schott, Shane Seeley, Jacqueline Thompson, Yumin Se, Adriano Udani Jr., and Felix Vincents. Thank you all. Next, we will recognize staff celebrating 10 years at the university. Richard A. Tees, Lori Austin, Michael Bate, Ashley Darling, James Dunbar, Nicholas Fry, Mary Patrice Gillette, Kimberly Green, Dorian Hall, Scott Haywood, Alexander Huger, Crystal Hollingsworth Smith, Jessica Luther, Joshua McMillan, Wayne North, Katie Vaughn, Karen Wozniak, and Jim Webb. Thank you all. We will now recognize faculty celebrating 15 years of service. Thomas Irwin, Thomas Langraf, Eric Mazoub, Stephanie Merritt, Watermar Roof, Alina Slapek, Lee Slocum, Benjamin Torbett, and Christopher Wolin. Thank you to you all. Next, we will recognize staff celebrating 15 years at the university. Stephen Anthony, Sue Bateman, Faith Boone, Mary Clanahan, Rodney Faviano, Mark Fetters, Warren Gibson, Mark Johnson, Lisa Lodes, David McDonald, Maya Scrubs Hicks, and Carol Smith. Thank you all. Now we'll recognize faculty celebrating 20 years at the university. Cody Ding, Jerry Dung, Kevin Furland, King Tang Jean, Linda Marks, Dinesh Mirchandi, Jonna Murray, and Kim Song. Thank you. <laughs> now we will recognize staff celebrating 20 years at the university. Pollyanna Appleton, Julie Dunn Morton, Francesca Ferrari, Nora Hendren, Tammy D. Jones, Daniel King, David D. McKinsky, Erica McClure, 
Tyrone Petty, Linda Stein, and Jill Wood. Thank you all. We will now honor those who've reached 25 years of service at UMSL. These individuals have given their energy, creativity, and imagination to this campus for so long, and we appreciate and recognize this important milestone. For those who are here in person, as I read your name, please come forward, and Chancellor Soblick will present each of you with a special gift. 25-year staff honorees, Teresa Ballesteri, Director of Student Support Services, Career Services. Peter Brown, Network Engineer, Computer Education and Training. Peter could not be with us in person today. Kirk C. Kroonrod, Vice Chancellor, University Advancement. <laughs> Sherry Hyken, Administrative Consultant, Finance and Administration. Samantha Machefs, Senior Assistant Director, Student Financial Aid. And finally, Laura Patterson, Senior Manager, Information Technology Services. Now we will be recognizing two faculty members celebrating 30 years at the university. Michael Allison and Joel Epstein. Next we have two staff members celebrating 30 years at the university. Michael Howe, Lynn Navin. We have two faculty members celebrating 35 years at the university, Valerian Sousa, Vanita Henry. We have two staff members celebrating 35 years at the university, Monica Farrell, and Mary Zetwalk. We have one faculty member celebrating 40 years at the university, Nasser Ashadi. We're not done. We have one faculty member celebrating 45 years at the university, James Brion. This concludes our years of service milestones. Thank you, everyone, for your service and dedication. Our final two awards this afternoon go to our faculty and staff retirees of the year. Each year, the UMSL Campus and Retirees Association 
recognize retirees who have been extensively involved in the volunteer service to the university, civic and welfare services, career and professional activities, or other noteworthy accomplishments. Our faculty retiree of the year is Dr. Sulema Tan Martinez. Dr. Tang Martinez, retired professor emerita in the Department of Biology, in, uh, retired in 2014. Since her retirement, she's remained active with the UMSL Biology Department, frequently attending biology faculty meetings, participating in almost all department seminars, and serving on all faculty searches. Perhaps just as important as the myriad of ways and areas in which Sulema has been active during her retirement is that she brings her heart, enthusiasm, passion, and deep knowledge to all these involvements. She's often writing papers, drafting documents, or sending or responding to emails from colleagues, students, and others throughout the day. Congratulations, Sulema. Our staff retiree of the year is Ms. Connie Jeffries. Connie retired as program manager in the School of Professional and Continuing Studies, College of Arts and Sciences in 2011. After years of service volunteering and two major family losses, Connie faced a new reality of how to pursue her passions in protecting vulnerable women, outdoor activities, and a love for nature. She realized that the pandemic caused significant mental and emotional issues for many, especially among seniors and the newly retired. With that in mind, Connie set off to challenge herself and encourage others many of them women, to embrace their curiosity for the gifts of nature, crisscrossing the U.S. and Europe, to encourage women to become and to stay active. Connie's not able to join us today as she's completing a six-week hike across Spain. Congratulations, Connie. Please join me once again in recognizing all of the award winners today. This concludes our program. Thank you to everyone who joined us both in person and online today. It has been a pleasure to be with all of you. I invite you to please join us in the lobby for refreshments. Chancellor Award Winners for Excellence, please stay for a few minutes so we can get some additional photos. Thank you very much.